Magnificent as it seems, midway through the first act, there's a problem. Oh, Charlie. Here, a mustache has come unglued, an urgent fix for one of the key performers seconds before he's set to return to the stage. The audience, of course, has no idea, none, in fact, of what happens backstage. But we have unprecedented access. Watching as dancers throw snowballs from off stage. As rollerblading bears stand by in the wings. The youngest performers are just six years old, now preparing for their first ever grand event. This is make or break for the National Ballet, the annual ritual that helps pay for the rest of the year. It attracts huge audiences every December, and tonight is intended to share the magic. The first full dress rehearsal with what will be a full house. As that audience begins to take their seats backstage, the show is in its final preparations. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your onstage call. Onstage, please, for the top of Act One. For the man who's helped it run for decades, the stakes are still high. As soon as the orchestra starts tuning, we're sort of on a we're on an unforgiving path. It's at that point that I can't change my mind and leave. That's <laughs> yeah, the point of no return. It kind of is, yeah. A month before showtime, the enormous effort begins with massive sets moved out of storage. Nine trailers full. This is yours. Oh, great. There. How is that when you put your arms up? Oh, we should try your tiara too. Okay. Charlie? Yeah. Meanwhile, sugar plum fairies get fitted for costumes, and rehearsals begin. The National Ballet's own may be experienced at the Nutcracker, but with need for such a large cast, most of the performers come from outside the company, many of them just kids. They'll rehearse all together with the orchestra fewer than a handful of times before facing a paying audience a grueling 26 times in December. And showtime is just moments away. It may not get the glory, but the two dancers stuffed inside this horse certainly have one of the most challenging parts. One of them can't see, so both are led gingerly onto the stage. When the horse's part is complete, the heavy costume is hung, and the dancers slip out, rushing to their next role. <laughs> Watch out, a big move is about to happen. It takes 10 people to move out this Christmas tree set. On stage, the decorated branches swing, a movement rode from behind by a stagehand. But all that swinging is a hazard one dancers try to avoid. The people that tend to get whacked by the branches tend to be some of the performers in the battle. And there's, there's square steel underneath the, the sort of fur dressing, so they can, they can give you a, a good bark in the shins. The performers may be in peak physical shape, but the Nutcracker is an exhausting performance. Poised and precise ballerinas on stage step off briefly to recover and rehydrate. As the end of the snow scene nears, stage director Jeff Morris is still calling the shots. It's magic, absolutely. It's so satisfying. And when you hear the applause at the end of every performance, you know that there are a lot of people out here who maybe it's their first time in this terrific theater, maybe it's their first time seeing a ballet, and that applause is fantastic. Applause for an act that seems serene and precise, belying the organized chaos just behind the performance. David Common, CBC News, Toronto.